we spend some time with the free-spirited Karma. My name is Ben Jackson, a.k.a. Karma. I remember the exact day that I thought about how cool it would be if it said you were killed by bad karma. Bad karma wouldn't fit on the tag, so I had to put just karma. Karma's dominance in the 1v1 free-for-all gained him fame and fortune, but it also attracted some unwanted attention. I got made fun of a lot. I didn't care how it looked. I wore a tank top at 300 pounds. Online, random people would send me messages about being big. I used to let it bug me a lot. I used to get really angry over it. I kind of realized that if I do good, if I'm nice to people, I'll get good stuff in return. It was that positive perspective that gave Ben the strength to focus on the things that he could control. When I first got so self-conscious about my weight, I was like, all right, I need to start losing. And everyone had told me, like, you need to run. The running is the best thing for you right now. Like, after a while, I'll just keep doing that every day. And my teammate, Gandhi, gave me a little workout. After I lost, like, 20 pounds, like, 20 pounds, like, that's a huge difference. I was like, this workout's too easy now. He gave me an even harder workout, and now I can do it. And I went from not being able to run for five minutes to be able to run five to six miles at a good pace. Like, I'm in shape. I don't know, I feel good, I feel great. It's a dream, it's like a dream right now. I'm traveling around the country, getting paid to play video games, and I'm on the top right now. I'm living a dream. It's 40 to 36, still anybody's ball game. Gandhi spots Walsh with a sniper, takes him out. Huge kill, the sniper is available now. He gets hit by a rocket, but doesn't go down. That's that overshield. He had a little bit left, just enough to keep him alive. That's why overshield is so important. Gandhi's shields are now recharged. 41-36, nine kills, $100,000. Simple math for Carbon. And a beatdown on Saiyan. It's 42-38. And Gandhi's got the sniper. This does not look good for Final Boss right here. Listen to these guys working it for these final seven kills. They're all back away. They did, they did. They might board. They might board. Watch out, board. Okay, you hear Carbon setting up their strategy. They've got Gandhi on top of the base, Shockwave watching the port, and Ghost and Karma ready to go flush Final Boss out. Final Boss is stuck behind Red Base. They need to get out of there if they're going to have any shot at winning this game. Saiyan has been the first to admit it. He has struggled with Final Boss lately, but he's had a magnificent championship match. We go on board with him now. What a story it would be if this kid from Cary, North Carolina can lead a comeback. They're down 43 to 38. Oh, just missed a sniper bullet. You see it whizzing by his ear. And he's headed over to Plasma's side base. Oh, sneaks up on Ghost from behind. Ghost is beat. Let's see if they can break through here. That's one down. Sand finds Carbon, takes him out. Middle is open. This is huge. Final Boss needs to take advantage here. This game is pretty much over. Sand shields are recharged. We climb on board now with Walshi. Moving towards the middle, shooting at Ghost, gets a double kill oh. on Gandhi and Ghost. 46 42. Final Boss is making a comeback. Here comes Shockwave. He's done. Final Boss within three. Walshi trying to take this entire game on his shoulders and be the hero and force a deciding game seven. Look at the intensity on his face. Let's go on board now with Karma. On top of Blue Base. Makes his way to back blue. To the portal. Ports out behind Saiyan. Oh, catches him napping. Saiyan's done 48 44. Two kills away. Smart play there, coordinating with Gandhi to go around together. Gandhi and Karma rushing over one together. It's 49 now. And there's Walsy. Karma's standing up. What is he doing? The game's not over. In red, Ben. He thought he, maybe he thought he had Walsy. Oh, but Ogre, too. Ben, it's come on, kill. dude. Sit down. What are you doing? You're not done. Gandhi advising his teammates to stay in the game. It's not over. They need one more kill for $100,000. Look how calm and collected Shockwave is. Let's climb on board with him, headed up the sniper ramp. Spot Walsy. Does he get the kill? Carbon wins the championship. No longer a Cinderella story. They are the undisputed top team in MLG and the 2006 national champions. Just huge play from Carbon, especially their team leader, Shockwave. So fitting that he gets the final kill there. He's been their leader all season long. He's kept them together. He's forced them 
to get on a plan where they can become the number one team that you see before you now. Tremendous for him, tremendous accomplishment for the entire team. I mean, they're just on top of the world right now. And then, final boss, I mean, saying, can't say enough about him. He just did not quit. He showed everybody out there that he came to play and that he could play. He silenced all of the critics who said that he was the weak link because he definitely came to play for this event.